The latest aerial footage released by the FBI shows an eye in the sky helped capture the Boston suspect. Now, lots of lawmakers are calling for a domestic drone double down after a successful bombing arrest from high above. Joining me exclusively, Senator Rand Paul on what he's worried about these new privacy invasions. Of course, remember, it was the Sen Senator who filibustered uh, the president's use of these drones for what he feared could be private use, private spying, and he got a guarantee from the White House. I think the gist of it was, Senator, that wouldn't happen. What do you make of all this? Well, you know, I want to congratulate law enforcement for getting and capturing these terrorists, first of all. But uh, what we do with them, you know, I think we can still preserve the Bill of Rights. I see no reason why our Constitution is not strong enough to convict this young man with a jury trial, with the Bill of Rights. We do it to horrible people all the time, rapists and murderers. They get lawyers, they get trials with juries, and we seem to be able to do a pretty good job of justice. So I think we can do it through our court system. All right, so the, the whole uh, enemy combatant thing is a moot point for you. The fact is that an American citizen will be served American justice and uh, will get a, uh, he, he will get, if guilty, his just desserts. You know, when I talk to our young soldiers, and my wife and I have been working with trying to build houses for some of these wounded veterans who have really sacrificed their bodies literally, they tell me they're fighting for the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, and I believe them, and I know that that's what they represent. I think they're disheartened to think, oh, we're going to just tell people, oh, no, no jury trial anymore. So I think it is something worth standing up for. Um, to this technology, drone or otherwise, um, I was thinking of you, Senator, when I saw this image of this guy hiding in this boat in the backyard. Remember that one? And I thought, yep. apparently with this thermal imaging, you can see a person behind a wall, or in this case, a cover. And I'm thinking, um, geez, what else can these guys see? I didn't even know they had that ability with a helicopter to do that, but then again, I'm not... Werner von but Braun here. here. I'm just an anger, but I'm telling you, <laughs> then they have the ability to look at me in my home or you in your home or anyone right. in their home. Now, this was to a desired end to track down a bad guy or an alleged but bad here's guy. The, but here's ahead. the distinct here's the distinction, Neil. I've never argued against any technology being used when you have an imminent threat, an active crime going on. If someone comes out of a liquor store with a weapon and fifty dollars in cash, I don't care if a drone kills him or a policeman kills him. But it's different if they want to come fly over your hot tub or your yard just because they want to do surveillance on everyone and they want to watch your activities. Yeah, but what if they if accidentally, they have... in the pursuit of a crime, Senator, discover something else that looks uh, bad? And it doesn't even have then to be I, really, really yeah, bad, we but they'll use that yeah. as justification. Yeah, we shouldn't be. We shouldn't be willy-nilly looking into everyone's backyard and what they're doing. But if there's a, a, a killer on the loose in a neighborhood, I'm not against drones being used to search them out, heat-seeking devices being used. I'm all for law enforcement. I'm just not for surveillance when there's not probable cause that a crime's being committed. And so most of the time you get a warrant, but right. if someone's actively running around with a gun, you don't need a warrant. That's the way our system works. But I don't want the EPA flying over my farm with a drone. I don't want them flying over my backyard with a drone. But you know what I worry about? That you can reconstruct a case against almost anyone to make them look guilty. And I remember the Atlanta Olympic bomber, uh, Senator. Uh, now, we didn't have nearly the technology or the Internet that we do today then. But we painted a case of a guy who looked guilty as hell. And then we had to retract that and restate that using and marshalling all the forces that the government had at the time. And they screwed it up. Now, I'm not saying that's the government's intent. I think the government tries to the best of its ability to protect us. And to shade of that. What I worry is that they can go after the wrong guy and then rebuild the technological case or proof based on that to, to unfairly go after that guy. Well, the interesting thing is, you know, what I'm arguing for is you have a jury trial, but even a jury trial sometimes is imperfect, and you're right, right. you could reconstruct to make someone look guilty. All you have to do is watch 12 Angry Men to right. see how the facts seem to indicate someone was guilty, and the more the discussion occurred, the more they decided, well, you know what, maybe he's not guilty. But a jury trial is an amazing thing. We're one of the few countries that have it, 
And, you know, when my relatives go to fight in war and some of our relatives are in the armed services, I think of them fighting to defend the right to trial by jury. And so I think it's something we have to keep talking about, even in the face of people who nobody wants to see this young man go free. They want him punished for what he right. did. And nobody has any sympathy for the crime. But at the same time, I think our system's strong enough to convict him in a court of law and either put him to death uh, through a, a jury verdict or life imprisonment. In the meantime, just the sheer number of drones, the sheer number of cameras on street, surveillance systems, all the means at our disposal um, that are just out there. Now, we can marshal them to go ahead and go after bad guys, to your point, but there's sure a heck of a lot of them. Does that worry you just on just that level? Yes, but you have to look at it in many different ways. Many of them are outside of stores and their private cameras to try to patrol for True. potential perpetrators and they're not going into someone's house or invading invading that privacy. Do you still deserve some privacy walking down the street? Yes, I don't think everybody should have heat-seeking sensors going on, but if there's a madman running down the street shooting people, then we are able to use some of this surveillance. So it really depends on the situation, and we do have to be careful to protect our privacy. I guess my only worry, not to sound overly redundant, Senator, is that on the guise of protecting us, uh, we could give open license to the government just doing anything that it wants with us. Well, and the difficult cases are, you know, the Wall Street Journal said today that myself and others need to reconsider this, you know, idea of believing in civil liberties. And my response is, it's real easy to see these bombers who have images all over TV and know that they are enemies and that they're full of, they're in com combat against us. But there's a lot murkier cases where you would want, if you're an American, you would want a trial by a jury and a lawyer that don't have to do with someone in the middle of a bombing spree or a, a killing spree. So it's really about the murkier cases that we're talking about. And in this case, where it's very explicit, we also know there's going to be so much overwhelming evidence that I can't imagine that any jury will ever let uh, this young man get off. We shall see. Senator, very good seeing you again. Be well. Good seeing you. Rand Paul in Washington. Will home sales